Hey everyone, welcome to my Nespresso unboxing video. Hope you enjoy. This is the one I got, the round top. I also got it with the milk frother. I just really want to make lattes. And then in my welcome package, it comes with 12 sleeves, I believe. But so what a sleeve is, is uh, one of these packs of coffee. This is what it comes with, with the, the welcome package. This is the only one that comes in 414 milliliters. All these guys right here are the 230 milliliters. These two are the 150s. One double espresso. And this one is the espresso. My welcome package also came with this travel mug. It's double walled, keeps it warm. Holy. Remember when you're a kid and you would get really excited about getting a new phone or a new laptop? Uh, yeah, I haven't felt that kind of excitement in so long. I'm feeling it today, people. First of all, we have this welcome thing. Nobody reads instructions, okay? Let's be real. Yeah, no. I, I know I'm a nobody, but like I don't read instructions either. And I'm not saying that if you read instructions, that you're a nobody. Okay, disclaimer, God. Whoa! Okay, uh, I just got really excited because I saw sweets. But it's just the milk frother. I'm opening up the frother. It comes with the, um, you plug this in. I'm sure. Cool. And then it comes with the actual frother. If you press it once, it heats the milk and froths it. If you press it for two, three seconds, then it will it won't heat the milk, but it'll froth it. So you'll, you can have cold froth. So there is a whisk here, and that's what froths it. Right? You can take it out. So let's say you just want to heat your milk. Then you would just put your milk in there. Oops. And then you put it on here. And it works. Since I bought it in this set, it was only $70 extra, whereas if you were to buy this milk frother alone, it would have been $100. Bye. Okay, next, next, next. Even if you were to just buy the kit, you wouldn't have to go purchase coffee right away to use the machine. Alright, now, here's the actual machine. What's the evidence? Here's the actual machine, people. Here he is. I'm gonna take it out one second. Let's do a close-up now. This guy, the drip tray. Actually, no. <laughs> this guy, I believe, is a drip tray. Yeah, okay. Cool, that looks nice. This thing is heavy. Um, you can also move this up here. There we go. It's really easy to do, you just slide it in. Trip tray goes back in here for your espresso. Here we have unlock and lock. So to unlock, oh, unlock the pod goes in there. And then I believe uh, the old pod goes, falls in there. You close this up, you would put a pod in, close it up, and then you would swipe it to the left and then do Press that guy, the guy in the middle. Why is this not in the middle? Okay, anyways. My OCD is talking. This needs to be filled with water. Cool. I'm really sad that I can't drink a coffee right now. It's 8 p.m. and I have to be awake at 5, so um, I'll see you at 5.50. Oh my god, look at all the stuff I have to clean up. So 
this is about 14 ounces, the Alto, that's what I use. And it fills it up perfectly. This does actually hold 14 ounces. It's very good. So I'm in my car now and I'm getting ready to go to work. I would say the coffee is pretty good, but the crema disappeared pretty fast for the Alto Dolce. I'm not sure if that's the case for the other pods. Other than that, the taste is pretty good. It's very rich and uh, it's strong. Now I have to see if the caffeine content is enough and I actually stay awake throughout the day. Yeah, it kept me awake. I still have a job, so we're good.